What is going on guys, Chris Frenick here, and today is the first full day. It's actually kind of night right now. I'm just making the intro before the whole video. But before we start this video, I just want to thank every single one of you that has been a part of my life the past like four months and everything because as you know, I had this accident right here. Oh. And I shattered my ankle, my left ankle. I tore my ACL, MCL, patella tendon. Um, meniscus and I broke my left wrist so the past four months has definitely been a struggle it's definitely been very stressful just living in my mom's dungeon slash basement and just trying to um, continue YouTube and stuff but we are finally almost out of the woods I still can't really do things myself but good thing I got good friends around and we got Chris over in the corner as well and I am going to try well we're going to try our hardest to be making daily content every single day um so i hope you guys are excited i just want to make this intro real quick to thank everyone that has been there that's been watching all the videos still and to promise you right now that we are coming out with daily content we're doing it and if i don't have a video then i'll live stream so enjoy okay boys and girls well anton if you're right right now everything should be where it is nothing should be falling over he shook my hand, he promised. Go ahead, James, do the honors here. This side. Matt's doing the other. Pull her down. Oh boy. Oh God. No, stop, don't oh say God. that. Oh my God. Oh! Well, it looks like it's my time of the month again. Let's hit it. Thank you, Harrys.com, for sponsoring this video. Hello there. So stoked. If you guys have been watching my channel the past few months, you know Harry's.com has been sponsoring this channel. And if you haven't heard it before, I'm gonna tell you real quick, for just $3, you can get your very own shaver, shaving cream, and even this fancy little box. Now you can try to go to Walmart, you can try to go to Target, wherever you're gonna go, but you are not gonna find all this stuff for $3, and this is just the starter kit. If you run out of blades, it's only a $2 refill, and the best part about this is you don't have to drive anywhere. You go online, you go into the description below, you spend your three bucks, and it goes right to your doorstep. You don't even have to move a muscle. So to me, it's a no brainer, especially with this crutch, not really going too many places and stuff. So harrys.com always has me covered. Now let's shave this caterpillar. Dang, man, I got an orange one. Last time I got a blue one, this is sick, <laughs> heck yeah. So not only is Harry so cheap, it's also great quality, coming with a weighted handle with textured rubber grip, a five blade razor cartridge, foaming shave gel, and even a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the move. Sounds like a deal to me. Probably everyone's favorite part of this sponsor. Cheers. Oh, I always get it all over. Sorry, mom. Screw it. Oh my God, it's in my eyelid. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. I'll tell you what, man, I've been using... <laughs> in my eye hold on i'll tell you what man i've been using harry's for a few months and it's honestly the best shaver that i have personally used usually i use one of those automatic ones but like this one really makes your face so buttery smooth and let's be honest i don't belong with a caterpillar on my face so i'm gonna finish this up and i'll let you guys see what i look like I tell you what, man, I want to thank harrys.com one more time for sponsoring this video. I want to thank the people that are going to go down in the description below and pick up your starter kit for only $3. And if you've already seen the sponsor, if you've already got your starter kit, probably by this time you might want to get a refill. So it's just $2 and it's going to come right to your guys' door. Um, Harry's been helping me out for the last few months. As you guys know, I've been down and everything. And not only do they have an excellent product, they're an excellent company. And I'm glad to be supporting them and them supporting me as well. So with that being said... Look at this beautiful face, and let's get on with the video. Oh my! Red. Okay, okay, this Red. is actually hey, closer. Come this on. is actually really bad. Yeah, is that a whole motor? Yeah. yeah. So we picked up an engine that we're not talking about in this video. It's a sick engine. I hope it's okay. <laughs> There's not oil all over the ground, right? No, 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 it's this is bad. This is bad. I'll get a little closer so you can guys see a little better. Ooh, I'm not happy. Ooh, this sucks. I hope the Suron's wheel's not bent. We got a lot of work to do.
So I will say what Anton did, the things didn't get loose. I Actually, no, I lied. The toolbox got loose and I had it tightened before I left because it immediately got loose, but the scooter seemed to be fine. I don't even think any of the strap job went bad. What happened was the engine, the engine stand fell apart. I don't know if like the rod wasn't in there, the bolts got loose. I don't really know what happened, but the front of the engine stand to kind of like make it not tip over fell out. So obviously the engine fell over, which I really hope it's okay because we got big plans, exciting plans, and we need that. And they're expensive and I don't want to buy one. Yeah, this, this is rough already. So it looks like the base broke right there. So that's why the engine fell over and stuff. Hey, don't break yourself now. Don't break yourself. That's what broke me. Be careful with that thing. Note to self, Harbor Freight engine stands with an engine and going 100 miles per hour on the trailer. Not a good idea. That's a no-go. When we got to Florida, I just said F it. And I was going kind of balls to the wall. We were going like 100 for probably an hour just weaving in and out of traffic. So I think it's fair to say that some of this is my fault as well. Spree is coming out. Dang, I got to figure out a place to put everything. <laughs> Yo, where's the You're good, just lean it, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's so long. <laughs> oh yeah, rocket engine still for sale. Hit me up. Pretend you don't know what this engine is yet, because we're not talking about it today, but this is interesting. Oh no, the neck's broken. That water neck looks broken. It's dangling. Damn it, dude. I guess that's not too bad. If that's all that happened. Can order that tonight. They're not bent. Enough, enough, this is now enough RTV. It'll be good. Oh, that's the return line. Does that return line come out, or is that like that comes out? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 What about the Suron? That thing got chunked up, huh? Yeah. The tire looks. Oh, oh, so oh that fell frame. over. It, it bent the frame. Does it look that like fell over? Man, you you go to the worst case scenario. It looks, yeah. It looks like it's bent. But we're we're gonna get the Suron out. Here, um. The BAC Dude, on it, the controller broke on it anyways. Oh, shit. So Jack's got to look at it. He can look through this. The strap. Yeah, the strap got, got, strap got shredded. Dude, strap Nick at its finest. All right, we're going to get this stuff out. You got to pick that up. I wouldn't pick it up by the cam sensor. You're going to break it. Why don't we stop for a second? Get this stuff out. So that can <laughs> Twins are already fighting. Yeah, there you go. No, 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 no. Come on, Matt. Lift with your knees, dumb. Yeah, you're lifting with your back, man. Oh, Jesus. There's nowhere for me to grab it. You don't understand. There's, it's oblong. You have it easy. I have a port. I mean, he's grabbing the port, too. I'm grabbing the ports. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, couple sets, okay? Dude, no, the fucking gaskets are ripping in my hand. Okay, stop. <laughs> Just stop. I'm telling you, I don't have anything to grab. We'll be back. Here. Okay, so we broke four things off the mystery engine that everyone already freaking saw. The oil return bung. The coolant thermostat housing, the clutch fan, and the oil stick. So I'm gonna order those stuff tonight so we can figure that out. I'll have a video talking about all this stuff just right now. We, we have too many things to do, too many videos, too much, not enough time, and we're gonna keep doing this. This is, this is a nightmare. We started to use our noggins a little bit, so things will go a little smoother. At least nothing major broke. That makes me happy. Oh, God. Go left, go left. Uh, do they always fight? Yeah. I feel like they're always yelling at each other. Oh man, this is a daily occurrence. <laughs> they, don't, they don't necessarily yell at each other about stuff that one or the other does. It's like one does something but blames the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the brother clone love. Wait, Gotta love it. it. It's, a, it's a level of love. That we yeah. Are on the same you need to open the window. Or Got something? to my fair share, you know? Hey. Chris, do you have the keys to open the window? What? The what? key's in it. Oh. The key's in it? It should be in the ignition. Job well done. Go straight. Put that wheel straight. Go a little to the left. Right? No, a little more to the right. Right there. A little more left. Tiny bit. Yep, there you go. Turn a little to the left. Tiny bit. Left. All right, straighten out. Just go. That's not straight, John. You're good. You're good. Just straight. <laughs> All right, so the ricer's out. I guess one tire fell on it, or you guys put that there? Okay, cool. That was terrifying. 
Oh uh, yeah, it's fine, dude. Four thousand for the trailer, not bad. Um, I thought I was gonna leave that in because the manifold is cracked. We'll talk about that in another video, and we'll, we're gonna get that fixed Monday. But um, Harvey wants me to take the manifold off and just bring the manifold, which makes more sense anyways. So we'll probably do that today as well, just so we can get that out of the way. And um, maybe not, because we have a lot to do. All right, guys. So we got the trailer unloaded fairly quickly. It's all just sitting right here. Um, but right now I want to bring the trailer because can't there's really nowhere to put it in this little complex So I'm gonna bring it to Shaw's farm and everything and um, yeah, we just got to get that diff out actually Then this is a cowl for the NB um, Yeah, I guess that's it for now Another road trip driving all day Just got a new battery for the trailer. We're all locked and loaded. I swear the Dural has gold warranty it's kind of broken because they give you three years to replace it. You can get the replacement battery and it can keep going bad and you can keep getting a new one. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'll buy it. I don't know if this comes across on camera, but the whole truck and trailer is shaking. I don't know why they grew the roads like this. I don't know why there's dirt roads in 2021. Year of the comeback, 2021. Am I the only one that thinks it's off? Yeah, it's pretty bad, but it's Johnson. I feel like it's ruining my truck, right? Can't be We're good for the hitch. Ran over. We're getting the trailer out of here. All right, guys. So we got the big old Big Bertha parked. Everything is good. We got the new battery. Um, you can tell I'm getting pretty freaking good at backing these things up. We got the red trailer, and then we got this freaking thing. I don't, uh, I don't know what's going on there, but that's my trailer too. It's not my vehicle. Got the Ricer Civic in the corner. We'll talk about that on a later date, but um. Yeah, that's gotta go. I don't know what the hell happened there. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Ooh, holy crap, man. Today is kicking my butt. I have so many people helping me and I'm like very thankful for that. But like even just standing all day, dude, my ankle is puffing up. Like I'm just driving the truck right now and it literally just hurts to sit here. So I, I have, I, I've been doing a lot of standing. I've been like, I guess you could say training for this. Like I've been walking up and down that road like I showed you guys a couple times, but I guess it wasn't enough, man. I've been on my feet for a few hours and even my right foot, the foot that didn't break hurts. Like my heel and my the, the palm of your foot, all of that sucks right now. Oh God, I guess that's part of it. But um, we're gonna keep moving forward here. Um, it's It's gonna get dark soon. We still haven't really moved everything into the shop because i want to like get it organized and stuff um i'll show you when we get get back but i totally am getting rid of like the desk and i got rid of the computer because that's going to be my new bedroom office and yeah there's a lot dude there's so many things going on it's it's actually crazy welcome to florida i wish i filmed it but i just raced some dude in his harley he's right there honestly it was neck to neck until like fourth gear little torque monster guy here so funny though only in Florida okay ladies and gentlemen well it is the next day honestly I just didn't film last night because it was getting dark and stuff and I was just we were trying to organize things and the shop is absolutely filled like there's so many things that I want to do to organize it and make it better um, I'll, let's just go in so I can explain it to you a little bit the office has changed a bit obviously it's not even close to done it's still a bit messy but we got rid of the desk right there because I just there's no point of me having a desk here I didn't really use it too much and I rather edit somewhere like alone and just so I can focus on it so I don't mess up or anything so I brought that computer and I bought a desk for my bedroom and that's gonna be the little e editing studio I guess you can call it but we got the spree we got the rockets we got the Grom the sitter on the juggernaut and my the only one that I can actually really ride safely so <laughs> that's cool this is just stuff that I'm gonna give to James. We got a bunch of wheels. Actually, this is cool. So Will started storing wheels for me like, I'm not even exaggerating, probably three years ago, and I forgot about them. They've just been sitting in his garage. And if you guys are OGs, you remember the Nitrous Civic that me and Tommy did the $1,200 car challenge. And I got these off of Jack for 200 bucks, I think it was. These are some Panasonics. I think they're 15 by, eight or 15 by seven they might even be 14s i'm not too sure but pretty cool wheels um back in the day og og days i got these rikens i'm pretty sure there's 16 by eight or 16 by nine 
um, 5x120. I got these from Tommy for a pretty good deal. I just thought they were cool. They were, they're literally brand new. I've never been on a car or anything. And I ended up just taking those because Will was storing them as well. Got the LMGT2 barrels, which, as I told you guys before, those wheels are at Sensei 6. The faces are all cleaned off and everything, and they're just working on them. Hopefully, next month we get those, but they're all paid for. Everything is kind of working in motion and stuff. It's just they are backed up, and building wheels takes time, but it'll be so worth it. I'm not even going to do anything with the GTR other than take the side skirts off until... Um, those wheels come because it's gonna change the car 100% in here This is where the kind of shit show starts. There is just no room for activity right now We got the roadster here. We got the drift car there Which we'll talk about in a video with Marcus and everything but if you look I have about a million and two freaking tires dude like and the good news is they're all brand new and stuff but I don't, I don't have anywhere to put these. So my next goal for the shop is I really want to make tire racks so we can actually hang up all the tires along this wall. It's definitely gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a little challenging because we're gonna have to cut the drywall because it's drywall and then nothing and then the support beams going up. So we're gonna have to cut the drywall. We're gonna have to probably put a two by six and bolt it into the pillar and then we're gonna have to bolt the tire rack to the two by six. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do it yet, but that's kind of the best game plan we have right now. The ricer, as you guys know, is down and the ND, she would be my daily right now, but as you guys know, I'm broken. But good news is the trailer's put away. We have everything in the shop. I mean, there's still a, a ton of work to be done, but at the end of the day, we did it. And I couldn't have done it without my friends. So if you guys are watching this, thank you. Cause honestly, I'm pretty screwed at the point. Like I was standing for so long yesterday that my ankle got so swollen last night. I had to put ice on it and stuff. And like, it, it, it hurts twice as much today. So maybe I shouldn't stand as much, but I want to grind. I want to get back to the daily content for you guys and everything. So we're definitely going to push through that pain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more tomorrow. Um, we're going to be diving into the ricer. We're going to take that manifold out. We're going to bring it to Harvey and everything. We're going to do a few other things that just need to be done. So definitely stay tuned. Like I said, daily content starts now and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace.